Hello everybody, I want to talk to you today a little bit about thrushing the frog and what can be done to help treat that. Uh, I have a horse here, one frog is very, very healthy, no problems there at all. And the other one has a mild thrush infection in the central sulcus. And I want to explain to you today uh, a good method of treatment. So we'll take a look at the healthy one first. Okay, so here's the healthy frog. Nice strong central sulcus in there, everything's looking pretty good. Nice and broad and wide. Everything looking pretty good there. I'm going to come around to the opposite side. And we have quite a, a split in the centre there. It moves quite a bit. You have a black discharge around there. The main body of the frog is pretty healthy. But in the centre there we've got a little bit of an infection. And it's probably best to treat that now and get that as strong as possible. The stronger we can get the centre of the frog there, the more strength the back half of the foot has and it allows a little bit more heel expansion. When this starts to split here, the heels start to contract inwards a little bit. Um, and I'll show you now what I'll be using to treat that. So here we have a product called Hoof Stuff. It looks a little bit like a pseudocreme cotton wool combination almost, if you describe it as anything. And I'll be packing out the central sulcus of the infected frog. We take a little bit out and roll into, into a sausage like that, that size of shape and we pick the foot out and apply it into a central sulcus as follows. Okay, so taking the who stuff that's all rolled up, take that out into the central sulcus and start to work our way into that split. There, keep massaging in into the area there, it does stick to it quite well. Working way right in the crack there, right up the heel. And it'll stay in place and become part of the body of the frog. It is where it's a real advantage using this type of solution, as opposed to one we have to spray in. It gets worn out quite quickly in the fields. Or any sort of powder solution is okay if you're staying in the stables, but if this horse is living out at the moment, and this is a spin, keep working in, because that split goes deeper than you think. And but the further you can work it in, the more you'll lock into that. That's split there and it's got natural ingredients to help kill these bacteria off. The bacteria itself associated with thrush is Fusobacterium necrophorium, <laughs> often found in waste, poo. Um, there is an association between soil types as well and, fr and thrush infection, particularly the alkaline soils bring about a more noticeable uh, bacterial infection in the frog in the white line. It's always worth getting your paddocks tested for the pH content, and treating appropriately. Obviously keeping feet picked out all the time is a really good idea as well, particularly when the stables, regular picking out every day, monitor the strength of the central sulcus there, and if you then no notice any changes quite quickly. So there you have it all packed in there in the, in the central sulcus, plenty enough packed in there, and that should help fight the infection quite nicely. Another good product you might have heard me talk about in my posts is Artemud antifungal clay. Uh, this I often, quite often put on the sole on the frog before applying a hoof pad or a former hoof or a clog in a cast. Keeps the frog and sole really healthy when it, when it can't get access to that. I'll just show you an application of this now as an example. Okay, so we take the Artemud, wearing gloves every time so you don't get all the stuff on our hands. Smear all that on the sole there, all the way round. That does keep everything nice and healthy. Smells lovely too. Covering all that there. Normally I go over the frog a bit more as well if I was applying a pad, but we've got the hoof stuff on there as well. And this will just allow for a lovely coating on the sole, keep everything nice and healthy. So there we have it on the sole though. Nice bit of coating. And just a little side note to see, I don't always just work on problem feet. I sometimes have fairly normal ones to work on as well. It's quite a pleasure to work on these. Thanks for listening and give, feel free to give this video a share if anybody might find it useful. Thank you.